Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a much requested tutorial, and that is on the processing life skill in Black Desert, completely targeted for new players or beginning players to the game. Real quick though, before we get into this tutorial, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me, and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's actually get started by taking a look at the processing menu in Black Desert. So you cannot do any processing in Black Desert until you open up the processing menu, which is done by pressing the L key on the keyboard. From here, you will see all the different types of processing that you can do, and you will see the different items in your inventory highlight as you can do stuff with them. So for example, if I want to chop this wood in my inventory, I'd need to select the chopping tab and I could begin to chop. You do not need anything like an axe you would need for gathering. If you wanted to go gather trees, you would need an axe. You don't need anything like that in your inventory for processing. Your character will automatically do it without having any of the different tools that you would think you would need. Now that being said, there are processing stones that you can equip that help things to go faster with processing, but we'll take a look at that later in the video. But to begin with, if you want to do any basic processing in Black Desert, all you got to do is open up the processing menu, click on the option for what you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to do chopping and click on the wood and literally just click start and your character will begin to chop the wood or do whatever you need to do. So what reasons would you actually be doing any processing for? There's really just two reasons why you would. A is because you want to make money or B is because you need it for a quest or something you're trying to build or advance your character with. In the case of things that you need for a recipe to build for whatever you're trying to make, Take something like the ship license for a fishing boat. Let's say you're trying to build a fishing boat in Black Desert. You're going to need a whole bunch of different things. So you need bronze ingots, birch plywood, usable scantlings, blackstone potters, pine saps, and flax fabrics. All of these things are made using processing. So all of the stuff you need in order to make this boat is done through processing. So this is like this for any different recipe you might try to craft or anything like that as far as actually building physical objects in Black Desert. So if you see items like this, then you need to make them. Also, if you hover over these items in game, so let's say the bronze ingot, for example, you will see that it tells you how to actually obtain the item in game. So you can see you can obtain this by using the heating in the processing window L on a melted copper shard and melted tin shard. But you do need this thing called heating beginner knowledge. So I'm literally reading that blurb right in the middle of the actual card for it. Now quickly before I move into the beginner knowledge and the intermediate knowledges and all the different knowledges that you're going to need to do processing and all the quests that go along with it, I do want to point out that anytime you see me pulling up a third party website to look up different recipes throughout this video or anytime, you can actually do it directly in game without needing to go anywhere. If you press the F2 key on the keyboard, it'll open up the crafting notes recipe page here. And for example, the sailboat I just looked up, if you type in fishing boat into the search bar at the top, you will see the ship license for a fishing boat located down here. So these are the same exact recipes. And if you click on those, it will go through and show you all the processing recipes and all the way back through all this different stuff that you'll see me using third party websites for. So there's a built in system in game by pressing the F2 key on the keyboard. So do keep that in mind. I just like using third party sites. Those will all be linked in the description below as well. But all that stuff is actually in game as well. Anyway, to get the knowledge that you saw on that last item, so that beginner knowledge, you're going to need to do a series of quests. And to get started with that series of quests, you actually need to have a certain skill already on your character, and that is Beginner Seven Gathering. So you need to be a Beginner Seven Gathering in order to do this quest line. The easiest way to do that is going to be to navigate over to Heidel here in Black Desert, so the main city of Heidel, and you're going to want to find the NPC located right here. His name is Flaviano. So if you go ahead and walk and talk to Flaviano, who's located right over here, talk to them, hit on the shop option, go into the empty bottle, and purchase a bunch of these by like, I don't know, a couple hundred. After you have them in your inventory, run on over to this fountain right here, stand in the fountain, and click on this. And then just go eat dinner for a while, or go like brush your teeth, or do some homework, or do something. This is going to get you up to beginner seven gathering relatively quickly. You can see right there I got 10% from that first bottle gather right there. So anyway, when I hit beginner seven, I will be back and tell you what to do next. Also, don't be stupid and walk away forgetting to check this repeat box down here make sure to check the repeat box so your character continually gathers the water. Now, after you've gone ahead and done that, you're going to need to talk to your black spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, navigating to the guide option, which is to the far right over here. Click on that. And on this menu that's going to pop up, you're going to see something referencing processing advancement level 10. So processing advancement level 10. Go ahead and click on that, and that is ultimately going to take you to Igor Bartali, who is located here in Velia. And once you arrive in Velia and talk to Igor Bartali, he will allow you to begin the quest line that is going to take you back to Heidel. So make sure to talk to him, pick up the quest that you saw there. And that quest is going to take you to Feisty in Heidel, so way back over here. Now for her quest line to show up, you need to press the O key on the keyboard, navigate to the quest type tab, 
and select the all option or at least make sure that you have the life skill option selected and you'll be able to see a quest above her head. I don't have it here because I've already completed it and I already have the different knowledges that you get from this quest line. Like you saw when I went to my Black Spirit and clicked on Guide, I'm already up to the skilled quest lines, and if I were to click on those, it would tell me how to go ahead and get those and path me to it and all that great stuff. So just like you're going to do these beginner quest lines, you're going to do the same exact way to get the more skilled knowledge. Just go to the Black Spirit, click on the Guide option, and follow the quest lines that it takes you through. But anyway, this full quest line is absolutely massive. It will give you a whole bunch of different processing knowledges, and basically gives you just about everything you need as far as knowledge goes with these different processing skills. So link to this full quest chain will be in the description below. If you get stuck on any portion of this, or if you're looking for any specific knowledge, you can check it out here. Likewise, Google works wonders. If you just type in, how do I get this knowledge? You will probably find a Reddit post or something with someone asking the same question, and it'll tell you exactly what quest to do. But odds are it's on this list somewhere. This is like literally the majority of the processing skills. And if it's not there, once again, Black Spirit, guide option on the right, you will see the different knowledges that you can gain for all these different processing. So I think I've beaten that into the ground pretty well. Basically, that is how you're going to get these different knowledges, is running through this quest line or by talking to your Black Spirit and clicking on that guide option. So now let's talk about the only other real reason why you would do any processing in Black Desert, and that is to make profit. And a great example of making profit in Black Desert is using wheat as an example. So if I go to the central market right now and I type in wheat, you will see that wheat is currently going for 1600 silver. When you go ahead and process that via grinding, it creates wheat flour. So if I type in wheat flour into the market, you will see that it goes for 1300 silver. But Levi, that's losing money. It really isn't, because every time you process an item, you end up getting more than what you put in back out, or average more than what you put in back out. So your expected return is somewhere in the region of two to two and a half, but you can get way more or way less depending on how lucky you are. But generally speaking, you're gonna sit somewhere in that two to two and a half region as you just start out with processing. So to show you how this is profitable, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Clea. Click on the central market, We So I'm buying 10 of these for 15,000 silver, 15,000 silver. I'm now going to open up the processing menu by pressing the L key on the keyboard, navigate to grinding, click on the wheat, and begin to grind it. Now I kind of got unlucky with that and only netted 14 of these wheat flowers, but that's okay, we're going to turn this into even more money off of this. After we've made the wheat flour, we can head on down to a cooking tavern owner somewhere in any different city, go to their shop and pick up some mineral water. So for 30 silver, I'm going to match the number of flour that I have and bring that into my inventory. So I've spent another 500 silver, so my total spend right now is 15,700. From here, I'm going to open up the processing menu, go to shaking, and I'm going to shake this mineral water along with some wheat flour and hit start. This is going to create wheat dough. If we look at the wheat dough on the marketplace, we can see that it goes for just about the same price as the wheat flour did on its own. But because I'm doing an additional step of processing, I'm going to generate even more products. So that initial 30 silver that I'm spending per try on this is going to net me a lot more money after I make more of these. So mixing that 14 flour together with the 14 waters netted me 22 wheat doughs. If I go ahead and talk to Clea, open up the central market. If I was to go ahead and sell all 22 of these at the minimum price that they can go up for right now, I would basically double my money pretty darn close. I spent like 16,000, got 25,000 back. So that took like two minutes worth of work, and you can see how this could make a lot of money. This can make even more money if you set up the node network yourself to gather all the flour you could possibly want rather than buying it off the market. So instead of having that initial thousand silver upfront cost, if you got the node at Moretti Plantation, which is just south of Heidel, that produces wheat, you could get all of the wheat yourself and just process it yourself, saving you that initial upfront cost. That's why having your very own node network is super important, and I have a video guide teaching you how to set up your node networks in Black Desert. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to check it out. And basically, node networks make processing super, super profitable, make it a lot more profitable since you don't have any cost up front. Also, you could take this another step further and use cooking and process that wheat dough even further through different cooking skills in your Black Desert life skill repertoire and make even more money. And guess what? I've got another guide on the cooking life skill as well. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in going down that road. But anyway, back into the game, you can see how processing can make you a solid chunk of money. But what if I told you you could do it even faster than that? So earlier in the video, I mentioned something about processing gear that you need to equip, and that is going to be purchased from this NPC right here, Camellia Logia. So if you press the M key to open up the map, Logia Farm, which is located to the left of Velia, talk to Camellia Logia, and you will see in her shop, you will see that she has these items called processing stones. So all of these different processing stones affect a certain processing skill. So for example, the processing stone of energy affects chopping. It says it right there in the description in red. 
So remember all of that water that we gathered earlier when we were leveling up our gathering to beginner seven? We're gonna pick up this Logia Processing Stone of the Wind to show you how it works for processing using filtering on water. So if I press the L key on the keyboard to open up the processing tab, navigate to the filtering option, you can see I can select the water and I could just start processing away one at a time and work my way through it. Or if I go ahead and equip that stone, so that stone that we just purchased, the Processing Stone of Wind, it will pop in the little equipment slot down here. Then if I navigate back to the L tab, click on filtering, click on the water, and click mass processing, your character will begin to process a batch of water. Now the number of items it will process every single time you do a mass process is determined by your processing skill mastery. Your processing skill mastery can be viewed by pressing the My Information tab, which is P on the keyboard, clicking on the fish all the way at the end, and hovering over the processing stat. So in this case, we are doing filtering, and if you hover over the filtering tab, you can see that at my current mastery, I will process 11 batches of material every single time I process. So instead of doing one every single time, it's gonna do 11. Now it does take a little bit longer, but as you improve this processing mastery, it will improve the total amount of stuff you produce by a ton. So you can see right there, we did 11 batches. It just popped up on the screen and we got 18 waters out of it. So it's just gonna continue working through 11 at a time, making this go a little bit faster. Now, as far as boosting your processing mastery stat, this stat over here, it is done by leveling up the processing skill or equipping general life gear equipment. So starting with accessories, there are three different types of accessory. You have the Logia accessory. So let's just look at a Logia earring to begin with. This is your entry level life skill equipment and the one the majority of players are gonna start with. Most people ride this all the way up to the TET ranking, so you just continually buy more and more of these unless you like the RNG upgrade system, but basically every single slot, so your ring, earring, necklace, and belt. You buy these Logi accessories, put them on when you're crafting, and as you can see, for example, this TET Logi earring gives you all life skill masteries plus 32. You can stack all these on top of each other and boost that life skill mastery really, really high. Next in line is the Jeranoa accessory line. And the Jerno accessory line is kind of like the stepping stone. Most people honestly skip right over this one, but it does provide a slight bonus over the Logia set at a much cheaper cost when compared to the next one in the line, which is the Manos set. So the Manos accessories are super, super expensive. You'll see the majority of people when they upgrade from the Logia set, they'll go to a duo or tri version, depending on how much money they have. So that's usually their point where they try to enter into the Manos accessories. But these are your end game life skill accessories. So the clothing options for processing are craftsman's clothes. So the silver embroidered craftsman's clothes give you increased processing EXP, which will help you to level it up faster. There's different tiers of processors clothes with the most expensive ones providing you the most EXP increase makes a lot of sense. You then have the Logia, the Carta and the Manos craftsman's clothes and similar to the accessories with the same name, these ones give you additional mastery. These can also be upgraded to higher and higher tiers. So for example, you can go all the way up to pen for each of these different clothes. And obviously increasing tiers gives you more mastery. More mastery boosts the number of things that you can craft at any given time. And the more things you can craft at any given time, the more money you can make or the more goods you can produce or the more cooking you can do, whatever you're trying to do with the processing. Now, the only other thing to note is that you're generally limited on how much processing you can do based on the size of your inventory as well as your maximum carry weight because you need to have the stuff on your character in order to do all the different processing. There is a way around it, and it is the pay to win option. If you navigate to the Pearl Shop, go to the Apparel tab. Under the costume section of that, you will see the Venisil dress. But basically, it's the maid outfit or the butler suit, whichever one for your character. What this does is it actually lets you do the processing from your storage inventory. So you need to have the goods in the storage in the city that you're doing the processing, but because you can have an infinite amount of weight in that storage in the city, you can process for a longer period of time, like overnight or for an extended period of time while you're at work. Basically, it lets you make even more money, do even more processing, etc., etc., without having you hampered as much by your inventory. Although the items that you do produce do end up in your inventory, so you will not be able to infinitely do this. So anyway, I've only given you one example of ways to make money in Black Desert User Processing. There are a ton of different recipes you can do. If I shared them all with you, none of them would make money because everyone would do them. So feel free to explore, use the Crafting Notes book over here, and try and find other recipes that will make you some money. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you found it useful. I know it's a longer video, but there's a lot of information you need to cover when you make a life skill guide. This is by no means all encompassing, all covering of everything that you can do in processing. There are a couple more things that you can definitely do. And if you think there's something really, really important that someone else should know, let them know in the comment section below. Let me know in the comment section below. 
and try and share your knowledge with the rest of the world to make the community a better place. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're not already subscribed, please consider it. It would mean a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.